Hi guys, how's it going? Noe here. Um, thanks for watching my video and if you happen to um, just stumble across YouTube and found me out for the first time, thank you. I'd appreciate it if you um, subscribed and uh, give it a like. But you don't have to. You don't, you don't have to do anything really. But I'd appreciate it. Anyway, um, yeah, this video is going to be an interesting one. I'm going to take an existing drawing that I did um, in Copic Markers and I'm going to redraw it digitally because I wasn't happy with it. You know, let me show you. It's in the background, actually. Let's swing by around this way. It's of the Diva. I think um, I had another video of it on YouTube of me drawing it. And at the end of it, I realized I wasn't really happy with it. I mean, it's not that bad, but I just wasn't happy with the face. It kind of looked like poo-poo. And uh, I just, I've always wanted to redo it. But the thing is with, um, when you're drawing on paper, you kind of uh, can't do that. So, oh, here. There it is right there. This is what I ended up with. Pin that up next to each other. Obviously, one is bigger than the other because it's one's a digital printout. But that's what I ended up with. Before. See if I can capture this. Before. And. After. So. I don't know. Is it any better? It's different. I don't know if it's any better. I think I like it better. I like the face better, definitely. She looks more like Diva. But that's where it's at. And um, I'm in between renderings, so I thought I would, uh, for another project, so I thought I would just pull out the camera and, and do this YouTube video. All right. So it's going to be another speed paint with me talking over it my impressions and what I've learned. I don't know, I did this drawing a while ago, so it's not really fresh in my mind, but we'll give it a shot. This camera's really close to my face, but it doesn't go back any further. Okay. All right, let's start it, here we go. So underneath it, I have the original drawing, just very light. Um, so just going through poses and stuff like that. I actually really like this jumping pose a lot. I like the arm even across the face, but I deleted it because, you know, the face is kind of a key uh, component to this drawing. And I go through a lot of poses. Um, I think in the end, I, end, I, end, I ended up using the, uh, the gun hand as is. I just traced over it. And here's my chance at redemption, just trying to redraw the face. And it wasn't working out for me initially at all. Because <clears throat> I, I didn't have the, uh, the proper structure down. But eventually I get it, and I ended up with something that I was pretty happy with. So, this is the first time doing this, and I realized that I can... I was looking through my drawings, and um, I remember really hating the diva that I did. Um, the face, anyway. And I've always wanted to redo it, you know. But now, um, with modern day technology, I was able to do that and had a lot of fun doing it. And this drawing didn't take me that long at all because I already had the original pose down. I changed it up quite a bit, but still, I had the, the general shape of it down. So there wasn't a lot of thinking involved. The only thinking was just make it better, make it cleaner, uh, make the pose a little more dynamic. Um, I don't know if you noticed now, but with the last one, she's just kind of standing on a robot. And I wanted to change that initially right from the beginning as well, but I've already committed too much time to that pose. And in the end, I ended up with something very static and uh, wasn't, wasn't all too happy with it um, overall. So I'm going through the faces. The, the face, the facial features, I should say, and I also really wanted to redo the hair, <clears throat> and I think I ended up with something um, that I was pretty happy with, just more dynamic. <clears throat> What's my render at? I still got a bit more time to go. Yeah, I mentioned before that um, I'm just resizing it now. I mentioned before that my, my day job is, and um, this is just a hobby. 
the stuff um, I do on the side. So I do not really CG. It's almost like flash animation. I use After Effects, but um, I do a lot of commercials. Almost like um, graphic design for TV. Moving, moving graphic design. And that's what pays the big bucks. So that's what I do. Because I have a mortgage. And um, yeah, growing up life, it's very difficult. A lot of you guys know. But some of you that are just starting out in life, um, yeah, you'll feel the burn when you start having a mortgage and a, a family and a kid and all this stuff. But equally fun, you know. I'm not complaining. I'm having probably this is probably the best time of my life right now. Um, I love my my baby boy. He's not a baby anymore. He's actually six years old. But I love my wife. I love my kid. I couldn't have wished for a better life. But I do wish I could draw more, and that's why I've invested heavily in these uh, these tablets is to um, kind of find time to draw. Whether it be just um, on the subway, I'm, uh, during my lunch at work, anytime, and that's what I'm doing, and it's, it's coming, uh, it's helping out a lot, let's just say. Yeah, I really like this pose a lot, this jumping pose. I, I don't know why I didn't keep it. I think the, uh, the left hand being up like that was throwing me off. It just kind of looks stupid to me. And, um, the funny thing is, I wish I would have done things differently, even in this redraw of uh, D.Va. But I think um, most artists can sympathize. Uh, they probably feel the same way. You never quite really, well for me anyway, I'm never really entirely happy with any drawing that I've done. Um, I did one before this of Alucard from the new Castlevania movie um, on Netflix. and. I think that's my best drawing I've done to date. I'm still, whenever I look at that, I'm still very proud of it for some reason. I just love the way everything turned out, the face and everything like that. Maybe it's because it's not typical of how I draw. It almost looks like somebody else is drawing. Um, it just, you know, I don't know. It's a weird thing to say, but I really love how that one turned out. I'm still very proud of it. This one, I, I was happy with it. You know, it's it's been about a couple of weeks since I've drawn it, but the more I look at it, the more I'm like, uh, I wish I would have done a few things differently. But I, th I think that's a good thing too, right? Because that means um, you see errors and somebody's writing to me. Uh, that's weird. Um, yeah, what was I saying? That's a good thing as well because. It keeps you improving. Is that even proper grammar? I mean, if you see faults in all your drawings, then it means, and, and you're not completely happy with it, there's always room for improvement, I guess that's what I'm saying. And it's good to be able to see that. And I'm, I'm reassured by that. So if I was happy with everything I did, you know, that's, that's kind of a sad place to be in because, um, there's just, then there's, then you've hit your ceiling so to speak. <clears throat> oh, this is picking up. I should probably aim this thing right in front of my face like this. Sorry, I, I think the um, the audio quality probably just changed right there because now it's in front of my, my face. Um, just in the background. I wonder if it's affecting anything. Can't see. But yeah, I had a lot of fun drawing this. It was so good to kind of go back and redeem myself. Um, just go and I'm making mistakes all the way through but the good thing with digital drawing is it's completely fine I can go in like right there went and erased it just keep going and going and I really did like this jumping pose and I keep going back to it I don't know why I didn't settle with it <clears throat> the head and it's great it's good to flip the canvas back and forth um, very difficult to explain it's just to get proportions and stuff like that correct because we don't all see um, it's, it's actually very hard for me to explain I'm sure somebody could do a more capable job and I'm sure somebody out there has already 
has already explained that, but just give it a try. In Photoshop, just flip your image and you'll see everything kind of gets all wonky. But you want to do that throughout the entire drawing, just to make sure the proportions are proper. I know for me, I have a serious problem with that. Yeah, I write weird <laughs> there. So I didn't like the, the way the hips was working out, I think. <clears throat> So I actually haven't drawn in about two weeks now or something like that. I haven't drawn much because um, I've been really busy. I've been doing some ridiculous overtime. It's just insane. I'm essentially doing two jobs in one day, but the good thing is I'm a contractor, so I actually get paid for two jobs in one day, which is pretty sweet. I'm making um, a lot of money doing it. And I fixed the leg up here. And, uh, I'm enjoying that a lot more. I foreshortened the uh, the um, that, that left leg that's coming out towards us, and it made every it made the proportions proper. And I'm liking that a lot more. Can't remember if I actually color this one. I think I did. Um, what was I saying before? Yeah, I'm pulling in a lot of a lot of overtime. And I'm feeling it. I'm feeling kind of drained. And kind of sad at the same time because I, I want to do more of this stuff. I just got a, um, an iPad Pro. And I'm enjoying it a lot. I, in my review of it, I, I did a review. I don't know if you guys have seen it yet, but if you haven't, go check it out. It kind of breaks breaks down the, um, the advantages and disadvantages of each um, tablet. The Mobile Studio Pro versus the... Um, iPad Pro and ever since then I was able to kind of mess around with the iPad Pro a bit more and I'm loving it I got the pencil the um, the Apple pencil to a state that's very close to the mobile studio pro uh, pencil so what I think I'm gonna do now in uh, going forward is I'm gonna do my line work almost exclusively um, on the iPad Pro simply because the tilt functionality, the pan and zoom, and the ease of use is um, way more intuitive and a lot quicker than it is on the Mobile Studio Pro. But for coloring, uh, there's no beating the Mobile Studio Pro. There's no way I am. Um, I'm gonna be switching back and forth. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna be saving the um, the drawing on the iPad and importing it into Photoshop on the Mobile Studio Pro, I'm finishing up here. I cheat a lot, like I'll, I'll do graphics, I'll do guns, and I'll do everything separately, and then I'll plop it onto the, uh, onto the drawing. Just so the, um, because, for instance, that bunny rabbit kind of, uh, the bunny rabbit logo on her chest, if I was to draw it, I'm just not really good with perspective and stuff like that, especially graphing things onto clothing not really good at it. If I was to do it like freehand on there, it would be all wonky and I wouldn't be happy with it. So instead, um, I just drew it straight up as a logo and then distorted it and threw it on. And that ensured um, the image. Uh, what am I doing here? I'm flattening it, but it's a very weird technique I'm using. Uh, I don't know. I'm still very new at this, so I'm, I'm trying out a lot of things. I've recently learned how to cell shade a lot better. And I think you'll see it here. I used it for the Alucard as well, um, this coloring technique. But for the Trevor Belmont that I did just before that, before that's two drawings before so Trevor Belmont, Alucard, and then the Diva. Um, but for Diva and Alucard, I used this new technique that I learned. Just from observing um, um, other people's processes uh, online, not any YouTube, just like flat drawings. They would have like a before colored, like a middle, and then an, uh, then a, a final, and I w and I kind of filled in the um, the in between, and I think it's uh, it's pretty awesome. Not sure if I do it here. It's, it's super weird, yeah. Super weird. That arm bothered me quite a bit. But I, I think I just got tired and I think I said to myself, it's good enough, so I kept it. 
and it's playful it's you know it's the peace sign which actually isn't the peace sign um, I found out my wife she's Japanese so uh, she actually says it's it's not this doesn't mean peace I mean to us it means peace but um, in Japanese it's actually it's it makes a V so it's it's for victory that's what she says anyway who might argue right so it's when you do this it's victory amazing thing with digital digital artwork it's not really cheating but um, a lot of shortcuts it's pretty cool actually and I, I recently found out that um, as I'm drawing on my my iPad Pro I feel like I'm cheating like some of the brushes are so easy it's Man, it does all the work for you. It's crazy, and I don't for that for that reason I don't prefer coloring on it because it's very cheap. It's um, kind of contradictory for me to say because that's what fine arts um, fine artists have been saying all along is that when you're coloring on the computer, it's almost like cheating. You're really not using your you're letting things you're letting your uh, the brushes and and we're back recording again. My camera stops. It has like a 15 minute. Um, timer but anyway was that what what I was saying before is um yeah a lot of um fine artists have been saying this all along it's like um you know it's it's kind of cheating right but I, I still don't feel that way when I do work on in Photoshop I still feel that it's it's very difficult it's difficult enough to <laughs> you know so that I don't feel like I am cheating you do still you still need skill to, to pull this stuff off I think I'm almost done I'm putting in the colors right now. That was really fast. I guess I, I skipped that whole stage almost. Like this is what I'm talking about. This is how I color now. I'll do the um, the cell shaded stuff on, on a separate plane and then I'll, I'll do a, a multiply over the colors and that'll be the shadows. So I think that's done. That's it. So I don't know. I tried to talk a lot about the artwork but in the end I just end up talking more about other things. So I don't know. I'm still trying to figure this thing out, I'm trying to figure out a happy medium in between. So that's what I've uh, so that's what I've done. I enjoyed this uh, drawing quite a bit, and I think now looking at it, I do like this one a lot more, especially the face. Um, I don't know about the pose. The pose is all right too. It makes more sense. She's uh, Diva's kind of a happy, um, cheerful kind of a character, and I think she, I believe, in my opinion now, she looks. A lot more Asian or Korea, uh, uh, Korean. I almost said Korean. That's just weird. Korean. It'd just be Korean. But uh, I think she looks a lot more like the way she should look, as opposed to before, where she looks like she could be like Honey Boo Boo's aunt or something like that. <laughs> that was a very weird thing to say. But yeah, that's it. Um, don't know what I'm gonna do next. What I want to do next, actually, is I want to do something like this, but I want to complete a drawing on the iPad Pro just to kind of um, see if there would be a, a difference in quality um, in the artwork. But we'll see. I have some other ideas as well. Just mess around with a few things. But um, where's my render? My render's almost all done. To be fair, my mind is all on work right now, and it's going to be like that for maybe another week. Um, I hope I have some time, like a break at least, so I can um, start doing this stuff again. Stuff that I really love. Just when I thought it was about to pick up, you know. I'm doing all these drawings and I'm learning a bunch of new things. Work uh, gets in the way, like always. But um, anyway, yeah, thanks for watching the video. I hope it's uh, been um, at least interesting for you guys. Um, I mean, I like doing them, so yeah. Anyway. If you like it, don't forget to follow, uh, give it a thumbs up, uh, comment, ask me questions and stuff like that. If you want to know anything, just ask me questions. Or uh, if you have any suggestions uh, as to future characters, please let me know as well. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay, until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.